Hello, this is the Pythonic Accountant, and welcome back to another video on regular expressions. In this video, we're going to show you a typical pattern that's used in coding regular expressions in Python called re.compile. And the way this one works is, and compare it to contrast with what we've seen before, the re.search, you have to put your design pattern, or your pattern that you're searching for uh, within the re.search. So let's say you're looking for uh, maybe just a word that has a space and three characters and another space. And then you're looking for it within, hello, my name is Bob. And that's going to, should give you back, uh, oh, it's not going to give you anything because there was no space after Bob. And there you go. Yeah, it works. Um, so now, uh, if you wanted to reuse that, you'd have to retype it in every time. It's not that complex, but uh, as you'll see in some of the later videos, we are going to get into more complex regular expression patterns. So what you can do here is, let's say you want to call this three characters. And I like to put underscore re at the end. I'm going to do re.compile. And now we're going to save this pattern within here. And now anytime we want to use that, we can just do three characters re.search. And your mom is awesome. And now it's going to return back. Oh, it didn't like that because I misspelled the variable. And it should give back mom. There you go. It gave back mom with the space in front and behind. Um, so this gets really useful. Uh, and we're going to start using this throughout the rest of these trainings. Uh, because that way you can save the regular expression pattern after the first time you use it and don't have to reuse it. So uh, keep that in mind and keep watching these videos because we're going to get into some real fun stuff in the next few ones. If you liked it, please click like. And if you want to keep watching and uh, be notified when there's new ones, click the subscribe button. And feel free to leave any comments if you have any suggestions or questions. And as always, hope you have a good one. Thank you.